Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with Trotec Laser. Here to answer the question, can you laser it? Today, I wanna see if it's possible to engrave on the sides and lenses of sunglasses. Can they be lasered? Let's find out. I have purchased two pair of random sunglasses I found on Amazon, an inexpensive plastic frame and a more expensive walnut wood sunglasses with a mirrored and polarized lens. I will start my testing with this plastic frame pair of sunglasses with the goal of engraving onto the plastic frame. Due to the shape of the sunglasses, it will be necessary to disassemble them by removing the single screw on each side of the earpieces for easier laser processing. Not knowing how this will laser process, I will run a test on the inside of one of the earpieces to see how this unknown material will laser process. I will create a custom setting called Painted Plastic, applying an educated guess using the settings 45% power, 100% speed, 1000 Hz at 500 dpi. As you can see, the setting worked great. My educated guess was spot on. Now I will take this design I have created and try to duplicate these results onto the rest of the sunglass frame. Starting with the sunglass face, I have placed it into the laser, propping it up onto a wooden block, and I will focus onto the location where the engraving will be processed. Once in focus, I will open the Ruby software, go to the prepare screen, turn on the vision design and position camera, or target the center point of the engraving with the red dot pointer if you don't have the camera, then load the file into Ruby, zoom in and position the graphic onto the video image or snap to the red dot laser pointer if no camera image is available. Select the newly created painted plastic setting that I just created and push it to the laser. Push start and start laser processing the file. Once complete, remove and set aside. Then place the earpieces into the laser using modeling clay to hold them steady. Focus the laser on an average location of the high and low point to compensate for the angle. Once in focus, open Ruby again and follow the same process as before. Place the design, select the material parameters, push to the laser and start the laser process of the two earpieces. Once finished, remove from the laser and reattach the two screws to assemble the glasses back together for the finished result. This plastic version came out very well, producing a unique, custom, one-of-a-kind pair of sunglasses by taking a chance that it could effectively be laser processed. Next, I want to try to engrave on the lens and match the graphic onto the wooden sides of this pair of sunglasses with this wave pattern graphic. First, remove the single screw on each side of the glasses to disassemble. I will first process the wood sides because wood is a known laser-friendly material by placing them into the laser, stabilizing them with modeling clay, then focusing onto an average between the low and the high points to average the engraving. Once in focus, open the Ruby software again, go to the prepare screen, turn on the vision design and position camera, load the file into Ruby, zoom in and position the graphic onto the image. Select the walnut wood preset setting and push the file to the laser. Push start and start laser processing the file. Even with the extreme focal deviation using a standard 2-inch lens kit, the simple graphic is engraved nicely into the walnut wood. Once finished, wipe down with a damp cloth and set aside. Now for the biggest unknown, the mirrored and polarized lens, processing the continuation of this wave style graphic. Place the lens into the laser, again using modeling clay to hold in place and focus onto the average between the high and the low points. Open Ruby. Position the graphic onto the image. Since this is a one-shot deal, I cannot test to know what the laser parameter might be. So I will again use an educated guess at the material setting, hoping that the cast acrylic setting will work, pushing the file to the laser. Select start and process the design. As you can see, my educated guess on the settings has paid off again, 
producing a slightly opaque, frosted looking engraving. This is precisely what I had hoped for, but could not be sure without any testing. Once finished, assemble the glasses back together for the finished result. With some educated guesses, some creative positioning using modeling clay, and a bit of luck, we have answered the question that at least these two types of sunglasses can be lasered. And there we have it, custom Laser Dave laser engraved sunglasses. If you have any questions or ideas on something you would like to see me laser, please let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see what I laser next. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.